Hi, this is a video review for this portable washing machine. This is the box that it came in. I'm going to go ahead and open this up now and take a look at what's inside, but I just want to show you how it arrives in case you were wondering. Okay, so we have the washing machine out. We've been sitting here trying to figure out all the ins and outs of this. Let me start by saying the instructions are not very helpful. So there's the diagram. That's all of the instructions that you get. And then there's a whole lot of what not to do, and then troubleshooting. So as far as we've gotten so far is, you can see my husband's holding the cord that plugs it in. Down there, this tube that's coming out is what you use to fill the water. But there's the end, so you have to actually hold it up to a nozzle to fill it. And then down there, on the side, is the overflow, overflow drain. So what we're discovering is that the cord we can fill it up on the floor with the water out of the sink the kitchen sink but then we have to put it up on the kitchen sink so that the overflow can be somewhere where it can drain so basically what we have to do right now is fill this thing with water and then lift it up onto our counter I just think it's poor. I mean, it looks like a neatly designed thing, but it's poorly designed because you can't just put it somewhere, plug it in, and do your thing because of the whole drain thing, at least as far as I know. I mean, it's not like... I can't imagine you can just fill it up and leave the drain hose up like that and then wash them, maybe. We don't know. That's why we just figured we'd film now while we're figuring it all out. So as long as I'm right here, I'll show you. Right there is the wash basin. And then over here is the spin cycle. So what the instructions say is that you fill this up with water and detergent, undetermined amount of detergent, I have no clue, and you put the clothes in there and set the timer for them to wash and then you take them out and put them in here for your spin cycle and then you take them and then you drain this side and you take them back out and put them back in here with fresh water to finish rinsing. So um, and then also you have to fill up this side. So you have to fill up this side, and then this side, and then this side again. And then you might want to add that it's not actually a dryer or dryer. No, it's not a dryer. All it is is a washer with a spin cycle to sort of squeegee out your clothes so that you can dry them or line dry them. It's yeah. the best way I can put it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a whirl, see what happens. All right. I guess Come along would, for the ride. I guess you would fill it up with your clothes first, right? Uh, yes, so they fill it up with their clothes first. I'm going to go ahead and pause, or stop, and then I'll be back with more stuff, because our dog has to go out too. So, we'll be back. We're going to try Okay, it. we've decided to start with a towel and a shirt. And that, that filled up pretty quick, I mean. Well, I mean, you could probably even with put, a regular washing, You could probably still... put a set of clothes in there. Yeah, or maybe like three towels max. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to... Alright, here we go. Hot or cold? What? Um, just warm. Because it says that you can't go past 60 degrees Celsius right. or something like that. So. This is going to take a while. Oh, it's filling up. The machine is peeing. Alright. Some kind of grommet or something that would have hooked onto the faucet would have been a really yeah, nice like addition. Yeah, like a rubber thing. Yeah, like a sleeve or something. something. We don't know what exactly to do with the hose, and we're not sure if it's going to drain without us telling it to. What I did is I just ran it underneath here to hold it in place and put it towards the sink. Uh, and let's see what happens. Okay, so it says to turn it on, right? Um, set we're the timer. In standard. And standard soft and or dry. timer. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. About 12 minutes. Sure. Alright, let's see what that's doing there. Uh, it's agitating it pretty good. Back and forth. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. And it looks like it just does that back and forth. So there is no water coming out of the hose right at the moment. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come out until we 
switch it to until drain. we switch it to drain. So that means we don't technically have to do it up on the sink until. But it's ready. either way, it's going to have to be high enough to drain it somewhere. It's true. At some point, no matter what. It's a little rocky. Well, it's a washing machine. Yeah. Let's see if I can back up and get the whole thing in the shot of our messy kitchen. Okay, our load of laundry is done. In case you're wondering, it doesn't ding or anything. When it's done, it just stops. So now... Okay, while that's still draining, we decided to go ahead and switch the clothes over. So I'm a little short. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, that's pretty wet. So... There's the towel. There's the shirt. They smell good. And well, I will note, though that I've only got a towel and a shirt in there and you could have fit more in there but you're not going to be able to fit much more in the spin, in cycle, the spin cycle so you're only going to fit a, be able to fit a couple clothes and now you just put that in there on top we're of guessing the, that's all you do is put that in there on top of there there's really nothing in the instructions okay. so then we're closing Closing. now it also now this I also noticed it doesn't close, it doesn't all, the close way. all the way um, you can see we've got some water coming out. We're up high and we don't have a drain and that's what... Okay, you can hear my husband talking while we're trying to figure this out. While it's on the spin cycle, it's getting water out of the clothes. So it's, well, we're supposed to put water in there, but because it's up high, we can't unless we... Well, we could manually put just some water in there. Oh, it's, does it stop? Now this has a safety This has a safety mechanism on it. Yes. Ooh, that, Ooh. it shakes a lot. Does she go out? Well, it's a spin cycle. That's what they do. I know, but you don't want this thing up on your counter. No. So, but what I did notice is with this drain, it looks like there's a there's like a, a coupling so you can extend the hose, I suppose. But you're still going to need to drain on the floor or something, which just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it's using gravity. Who has an available drain on their floor? I mean. Unless you have it in like a bathtub or something, but then you're not going to have an outlet. You have to really extend So that, that part is weird because it doesn't look like it has any kind of real pump in it. It's just using gravity. So anyways, we've, we, let's say, okay, so we've got the spin, right? Yeah, we'll stop spinning. It should shake the whole kitchen so again. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'm assuming it's probably not as dry as it would be if if we uh, did a full. We did a full thing. Yeah. I'm assuming that's in there to keep it from shooting up and out. It is considerably drier now. Yeah, you can tell. And then I guess you would throw it back in you here. You throw it back right? in here, and then you, even that one's considerably dry. Yeah, you can drier. tell it's not sopping. Um, you throw it back in there with clean water, and just rinse it again. And then I would think spin it again. Yeah. And then you should be done. You can hang them on the line or put them in the dryer Which I don't or whatever. think we need to film that. Right? Yeah, we're not going to film it. Sorry. Battery's dying. And we're kind of exhausted. So, but, um, I mean, but at least you can see how it works. You can see the design flaws with it. You can see what's good, what's bad about it. Um, anything else you can think to add, Brandon? Um, no. I mean, We were thinking that this would be nice when we're camping, but... There's in the instructions it says not to use it outside. So yeah, well, I think that's because of the. I think they're just worried about water. it getting wet. Is mainly what it is actually. I think they're worried. I mean, about... it would be good outside. It would be a good outside the camper if you just let that run. But you're then you're running you, then you're running soapy, soapy water, water just into the ground, which isn't cool. That's not cool. So I guess that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to help you out. Um, we'll try to test it a little bit more and see if we come cool. across anything. Yeah, it does look cool. I love the color. Yeah, it's it's neat looking. I, I guess we'll I give mean, it we'll give it a thumbs up. For, I guess for all those tiny house hunters out there. That yes, have, if you're a tiny house hunter. Right, because we've been watching that show a lot lately. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you're a tiny house hunter, maybe you'll want a tiny weird washing machine for I, your tiny house. I think like the only problem with this thing is finding the proper drainage for it. That's, yeah, it's the drainage the and then a, pro a place to put it where you can fill it properly. And yeah. it's just in our old retro kitchen. We're just not finding a way to use it properly. But if you have any uh, questions, any comments, any suggestions, feel free to leave them and I'll try to get back to you. But for now, we hope that this helps you out a little bit. Alright, say bye, Brandon. Bye, Brandon. <laughs>